हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेरी इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी वॉट आर ट्रू दी एंड फॉल्स वैल्यूज सो समाइम दिस फॉल्स इज प्रोनाउंस एज फॉल्स और एफ ए एल एस ई वाई ओके सो दैट्स द वेरी बियर थिंग नो इशूज बट वॉट आर दीज ट्रू दी एंड फॉल्स वैल्यूज सो वेन एवर यू लर्न जावा स्क्रिप्ट यू शूड अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दैट everything in javascript every value in javascript is a to the value unless and until there are some exceptions to that so we are going to see that exceptions and also want to see what are some to the values and what are some false values so let us directly jump on to our index.js and let me show you first thing let's say if i wanted to show you um let's say i'm printing out simple boolean of no not boolean of if i am doing log and let's say i wanted to print uh let's say r in string and see i am just saving this okay and the next line what i am doing is what happen log of type of hum we are going to write string and i am going to just simply put out here what uh true let's say and i just want the my truth value to be in number and let us see what does this line print see in the second line what we are getting is number right but uh, let's say if i am if i am removing this type of and also the first line that doesn't matter over here i am saving this and right now if i uh, uh, run this See what I am getting one. So my uh, truth truth value of boolean has the value of one. Okay. So if I took something like this, let's say I am storing one string by the name Dave Town or any uh, any other string. You can took our your name. No issues in that case. If I am saying if a, if you if you, if you know this uh, no, if and else statement well and good. If you don't know, then do watch it on our playlist. so it's a simple statement that is if if a then i want to print something like this let's say s i am printing and if it is if it is not then i want in else statement that it should print it should print no in this case so yes it is but let us see first of all what it will print see it is printing me yes and why why is it printing yes in this case see what is happening my if statement is only being executed when this condition inside this if is truth so what we can conclude from here is this a is a truth value see instead of a if i write true over here then also i will get the same result if you want to see then see yes if i am getting yes if and if i am uh, uh, like adding false over here then i am getting uh nothing i think is i i will be getting false like no over here see i am getting no that means whenever my if condition statement is true then only i am getting in console yes so yes definitely this string is a true the value first of all okay so there are bunch of values that okay so what it is doing dev town is not defined okay let me just clear it once let me save it once again and let us see one more time yes we are getting yes in the output see so that is the thing which i wanted to convey over here today in today's video so there are many values that are true the and false in javascript let us see with the help of undefined what does it give us if, if we are taking undefined i am just saving it and let us see see it is giving me no because in javascript undefined refers to the false value okay so that's the thing and uh, another thing that we can take is null we can try out different things over here no issues see for null we have no no means null is also the false value okay and if you are taking empty brackets let's say if you are taking empty brackets let us see it is giving us yes see it it means that empty brackets this empty curly brackets represents truth value okay so in javascript you can find out many values uh, of there are no issues for that 
थी आई एम गेटिंग येस ओवर हियर अगेन सो दिस ब्रैकेट्स आर डेफिनेटली आर ट्रू दी वैल्यू इफ आई एम ट्राइंग आउट दिस पैरेंथिस एज वेल ओके सो वी कैन नॉट राइट दिस एम टी पैरेंथिस सो दैट दैट विल इट विल गिव अस एरर नो इश्यूज फॉर दैट एंड अनदर थिंग अनदर थिंग इज लेट से आई एम टेकिंग दिस ए सिंपली ए ट्राइंग टू प्रिंट आउट वॉट आई एम गेटिंग what i'm getting is no because see whenever i'm uh, not defining anything so th- this a will represent as null over here and this null is a truthy value undefined see a is a non defined okay so that's why i'm getting no in my output and how to find out whether these these are truthy values and these are false values so for that what we have over here is mdn mdn to the if, if you search on google you will find out the true the values for true the and false the values both so i will definitely refer mdn documents to you guys if you wanted to learn anything related to javascript so this is the official documents of javascript which are maintained by mdn so this is a very easy to read web pages that are available on mdn so you can consider it like a wikipedia for javascript okay see it is mentioned here in javascript to the values of value which is considered true definitely and see i have shown you the example so these are the uh, another example if you want to try it out then you can do one thing just open your cmd and just type on node if node is installed on your system then then you will able to see this type of uh, command line over here in which you can type node command and if you want to see to the and false the value then you just need to simply type boolean okay i am getting boolean function i don't need to type and see if i am checking any string over here let's say i am checking my name vikrant see what i am getting truth because this vikrant refers to a to the value and now let me show you one value which is false let's say i am taking empty string empty string is a false value okay so this is why uh, this is how the javascript will find true the and false values and this question is being asked in many many of the interviews so you should always uh, know this thing and this is one false this one is for false so minus minus 0 0 and empty strings empty template literals will give you a false value and how does javascript find this thing so this is just due to type uh, type changing or type conversion we can say in the last video or in the previous video we had seen that how this type conversion and coercion is coercion thing is happening in javascript okay so whenever i am writing let's say boolean and i am writing let's say a number so it will check whether this number is to uh, represents true the value or not and it will simply give me the output that true okay simply and by that uh, by using this we can simply pass on the values to if else statements see uh, what, let's see if i wanted to check whether my a is equal to 5 or not a is equal to uh, number or not or something like that so what i can do here i can simply pass on this if a is present or not okay so i'm just checking the present of a if a is present then it will definitely give me the yes output if any value is being assigned to a that it will definitely give me the yes okay so there are many now there are many constraints that in uh, in which my this case skills fail let's say i am get typing over here minus 0 see definitely uh, this is going to fail see it is giving me no because this minus minus integers represent false values of course yeah so we also need to uh, give certain conditions over here let's say i want to find a number whether my uh, entered number is positive number or not so in that case i just need to check whether whenever i am dividing any number by 1 it should give me 0 if it is giving me 0 then very well and good i guess that that's the only thing see it is giving me 0 so yes it's a integer basically if i want to check any number is integer or not so that's the very uh, common thing and if we want to check uh, with another condition then we need to pass and condition over here uh don't worry about what is this and and i am writing two times and all all this thing you just need to just need to trust the instinct and yeah you are going to see all these in our playlist just if you haven't check it out till it just go to devtown and search for javascript playlist web development playlist and you are you are able to find this thing
see i am getting no worth is because i i am searching for positive integer like that so i hope you guys have got the idea of what truly and falsely values are in javascript and with that i end up my today's video over here and i will see you guys in next video until then keep sharing the content bye bye